Welcome to the Welsh School of Architecture. My name is Caroline Armand. I'm the chair of the first year of the Masters in Architecture, and I'm going to introduce the school and talk about our unique year of education and practice. My colleague, Mari McVicker, will then talk about the final year of learning in the Masters of Architecture. The WSA was established 100 years ago, and although the Butte Building has been our home for decades, we've only recently become the sole occupiers, and exciting renovations are underway, including a suite of new workshops finished this year. With the centenary approaching, we've been thinking about what the school stands for, its ethos, its identity, and the term grounded creativity reflects the challenge-based creative grounding we observe in our students' work, which may refer to socio-political, economic, technical, as well as physical contexts. Graduates of this school are generally highly regarded by practice, but much more besides. They're critically engaged, ethical practitioners, theoretically informed, humane and people-centered, and environmentally conscious. These are core values we as a department share. Whilst we're known as a school that values making, what may be less apparent externally is our emphasis on individual learning. We will not be filling you with knowledge or shaping you in our image, but hopefully helping you to figure out what direction you want to take over the next couple of years and beyond. The MR at Cardiff is an ARB, RIBA accredited program, but it differs from the other part one and part two separated by year out in practice. Students may begin our master's program the year they graduate from part one, even before they experience work in practice. The Welsh School of Architecture's original work-based learning model has been running for over 60 years. This unique programme not only enables students to continue their studies and career progression at the same time, but encourages creative and critical, critically reflective relationship between education and practice. During the MARC one year, most students work full-time in architectural related fields in locations of their choosing all over the world. Our long established distance learning programme offers a great deal of flexibility and freedom of choice and we hope will provide resilience for future challenges. Work-based learning frames opportunities for critical engagement within the workplace and our students often benefit from practice experience and support in their university work. Over the years I have seen how coursework assignments can enhance students' practice experience their exposure and profile in the office, as well as their understanding of the industry. The first few months as a part one can be overwhelming and maintaining contact with a school and peer group provides a network of support. Regular communications with peers can help you realise that you're not alone in some of the feelings and challenges encountered. And of course, the teaching team are here to, to help with any issues confronted. We do acknowledge that a largely distance learning programme can make integrating into an established cohort and getting to new, know a new school and city particularly challenging. And as our number of direct in, entrants has increased, we've recognised that opportunities for collaborative and small group learning, peer review and social events are integral to the programme. Under normal circumstances, students return to Cardiff for three week long short courses during the year to intensify production on coursework, work together, be together and benefit from teaching support and the facilities at the school. MARC 1 or Year of Education in Practice serves to bridge the transition between university and practice. It's not a year out or a placement but a full-time 120 credit programme although this is usually undertaken alongside employment. There are three modules aimed to enhance your understanding of the profession and help translate professional practice into your personal design approach and prepare for MR2. Design and practice is an opportunity to develop your skills and identity as a designer and collaborator, hopefully inspired by the practices and architects you're working with. It should provide a valuable portfolio piece to compete with graduates from full-time conventional part two programmes. 
In recent years, we've been working closely with community partners to develop live briefs and help explore ideas, strategies and solutions for their projects. Community representatives take part in briefings and review student work, enabling students to gain insights about end use of perspectives and experience communicating to a range of audiences. Design and practice submissions are typically structured around the RIBA work stages to enable students to learn from and relate to what they may be doing in practice. This focuses content and communication, reflecting the rigours of practice where architects must be economical with information. The school's also concerned with providing a grounding on design economics and students must consider whether what they propose represents good value to their client whilst bearing in mind what value might mean in a changing world. Alongside design and practice, research preparation is a preliminary module through which you undertake reading and research in preparation for a 10,000 word dissertation in MARC 2. It's an opportunity to define research topics that you find interesting and relevant. This year, we held a successful student-led conference at the school where MARC 2 students presented their research papers to MARC 1 for discussion. This was both a celebration of achievement and a, and a great peer learning experience. And finally, reflective practice challenges you to use tools of reflection, observation, participation, to enhance your awareness and understanding of the industry and profession, your contribution towards architectural practice and how your personal skill set can be developed to enhance this. Students are actively encouraged to engage in current discourse and debate and question what they're seeing and doing and what it means for the future role of the architect. This knowledge, these ideas, experiences and findings acquired in MARC 1 can then inform and shape directions questions and agendas for MARC 2. Hello, I'm Mary McVicker and I chair the Masters of Architecture Year 2 at the Welsh School of Architecture. Picking up from Caroline's introduction to MARC 1, I'll describe the progression into the second year of the Masters in Architecture through the design thesis, the dissertation, and the practice management and economics modules. Following on from the MARC 1's reflective role in practice, the MARC 2 asks you to critically develop your stance as an architect through your leadership in design and research, continuing to progress from a passive role of learner to a more active stance. A focus on student-led research and research-led design supports your research into cultural, social, political, technological, contextual, tectonic, environmental, historical, philosophical, economic or other aspects of design. More than designing a building, you are encouraged to pursue a deep understanding of the wider cultural context within which your architectural interests lie. Research in the MARC 2 takes many forms, giving space to reflect, analyse and form a position, emphasising the value of exploring, testing, prototyping and questioning. Your MARC II research might consider challenges faced by architects and architectural practice, questions which arose in your BSc in practice or in your MARC I. You might take on topical issues or investigate historically grounded questions. You might be prompted by a particular site, a client or a material, or even by a reading. Your research might consider what you might bring to practice and what you might contribute to changing practices in architecture. Research within the MARC 2 takes place within three modules, the design thesis, the dissertation, and practice management and economics. These all overlap and inform each other. The design thesis is the core focus of the MARC 2 and begins by asking you to formulate an intellectual position. Your agenda and your interests shape your design thesis through its theme, its site, its programme and the intellectual position you adopt to all of these. We expect that design propositions should be grounded in real world conditions. Not only can you have an idea, but can you make the idea work? This is not to say that you cannot be speculative, but that you must be creative 
in considering how even the most speculative of ideas might be translated into real world conditions. The MARC II is structured into units of up to nine students working with one unit lead allocated through a voting process at the beginning of the year. Each unit sets out a broad agenda around a core theme, such as atmosphere, urbanism, craft, histories, local adaptations, climatic response or value. Themes adapt annually to current issues, student interests and unit leads areas of expertise. Some units might focus on a specific location, a specific material or a specific philosophical stance. All will set out a broad area of interest within which you develop your own thesis. As well as weekly unit sessions and one-to-one -one tutorials, we emphasize the year-wide cohort through cross-unit studio setups, shared deadlines, and regular year-wide talks and workshops. The design thesis itself is structured into three components, a research primer phase, design, and technology each of which are assessed through a portfolio of process and final work. The research primer gives scope to explore, propose and communicate ideas. You might undertake one-to-one -one material studies or atmospheric studies or community consultation, software design, model making or urban mapping. The pacing and emphasis varies according to unit themes, incorporating seminars and workshops with specialists, specialists in the unit theme. Technology is embedded throughout the design thesis, from concept to final proposal and at all scales. Although theses vary dramatically in scale and in program, all are expected to demonstrate a resolved technical strategy defined by a student-led technical brief. Technology is supported through one-to-one -one consultancies with specialists in structures, construction, fire and environment, and unit-specific consultants in areas including software, expertise in a particular climate or material, and year talks from practitioners and researchers. Progressing from the MARC-1 research preparation module, your dissertation research can vary from philosophical studies to historical, ethnographic, environmental studies and more. While not required to align with your thesis, Questions explored in your dissertation often inform your thesis. You work with one supervisor in a mixture of small group seminars and individual tutorials. Submitted as a 10,000 word written work, dissertation outcomes are celebrated and shared through a dissertation conference with all MARC1 and MARC2 students. Finally, practice management and economics informs the design thesis by exploring relationships between architect, client and contractor, funding and value, legislative responsibilities and logistics of construction processes. Running through your wide talks and one-to-one -one specialist consultancies, PME supports the creative grounding of even the most speculative of theses. The MARC2 is supported throughout by our recently renovated physical facilities, dedicated fifth year studio space, a woodwork and model making lab, a digital lab with 3D printing and laser cutting and robotic arm, and media labs with printing, plotting and scanning facilities, photography studios, and an architectural library located within Butte Building. The timetable for the year is set out well in advance, including all key review dates. We treat you as professionals, recognising that you have a life out with studio, and plan well ahead so that you can fully participate while maintaining a healthy life-work balance. Working within the school's ethos, that of seeking to create a built environment that enhances people's lives without destroying the planet for future generations, we seek to support MARC2 students in becoming independent, critical and ethical architectural practitioners. We hope to be able to welcome you to the Bosch School of Architecture.